Meanwhile, down on the southwest side of town, Homestead is gearing up for a season full of some changes. After back-to-back 10-win -back campaigns, Sparty saw a slight drop-off a year ago, going 6-4, and four, losing in the sectional semifinals to Carroll. Now, the end of that season also signaled the end of a graduation of a very large senior class for the Spartans, including their top three receivers, two of their top four running backs, and their top four tacklers on defense. And Homestead knows their success this season will be based on how well they replace those dudes. Every year, that's the challenge, I think, of high school football. you got to replace a guy, that, group of guys that leave, and they're pretty good. So uh, you judge that based upon how the classes below them have worked and prepared, and they've done great things. And so we're excited. We think that uh, the kids that have been waiting to, to start are ready to go. The attitude and effort has picked up a lot. Uh, we know we lost a lot of seniors last year, some quality seniors as well. And just being able to step into those roles and really fill them has really been just team motivator for everybody. Well, there's always questions about us, and I think if we can just do our jobs, you know, focus on what we can control, you know, have a good mental attitude, I think we'll be fine. I really feel like our seniors and our, and our juniors and everybody, we're hungry. We're ready to come in from last year and just dominate. You know, you take it one game, game at a time, like everybody says, but the truth is we want to be contenders in this conference for a championship, and so that's the goal. When we start out, that's, that's what we're looking for, and the kids are uh, geared for that, and I feel like these, these guys are put in the work, and that equates to hunger, and so I think that's what you'll see. Sparty will open up this season at home on Friday against Northrop.